good evening. Okay, after like, um, we cannot say like vacations, but we have some day off. Um, we are going to continue with this process of learning English. Um, we have like some days in which we don't have, don't work our topic. So we are going to end with the activities that we were supposed to perform in the last week. So we are going to end with uh, the topic of week number two today. And tomorrow we are going to continue with the topic of the week number three. So we are going to enter the week number three tomorrow and we are going to have four days in which we are going to uh, continue with those topics. And also we are going to end with the week and number three on Friday this um, this week because we are going to work five days in this week, not the the four uh, days that we are supposed to work because we need to end with the with the last topic that we are going to develop uh, for the week number two. So. Talking about that topic, uh, the last week uh, or the last day that we were working, we were talking about the adjectives and we were seeing some examples. We were working on this specific topic that we are going to continue today. And also we are going to make a little review of that topic because we are going to need that information that we have on the document and um, it is the topic called adjectives to describe a house. Uh, we were talking about the adjectives that we can use to talk about our houses. And also we were talking about the, uh, like, not the same words, but we can see what are the opposite of the words that we have or the adjectives that we have. And we make a list of adjectives and also we were writing the opposite of those adjectives. So that was the topic that we were developing the last day. So now we are going to continue with that uh, topic. We are not going to read or make a list of the adjective that we were like uh, studying the last day or uh, in the last week, we are going to have four exercises or four activities that we are going to develop uh, during uh, the hour that we have um, today. And we are going to put into practice all the adjectives that we were studying the last week. Because uh, in that time, we were like explaining a lot about the adjectives and we were um, uh, seeing the different adjectives that we can use to describe things. So in this case, we are going to use that information uh, to talk about the houses. And we are going to have four activities. They are different activities because in that case, we are going to have one that is a group activity. We are going to have a group activity. Then we are going to have a reading part. We are going to read something. Um, then we are going to talk about something. We are going to say something using adjectives, but in that case, we are going to just use adjectives we are not going to create like sentences or something like that you are just going to use a list of adjectives to describe something that i have for you and the last activity that we are going to perform today is 
to answer something. I have different categories or a different topics related to the, the main topic. And I'm going to write it on the document. But in this case, let me tell you something. I have like some troubles with the connection and it is not like, um, it is not like just me. I have a, I talk with uh, the people that were with that uh, internet and they told me that they, they will change that for me. But till this day, I don't have anything different in my connection. And it is supposed that it is going to be better. So I am having a lot of troubles with the connection. So I'm going to work in a different document. Um, remember that we are going to have the information on the online document that we have in Google Docs. And there you have all the images that we are going to use for this, um, this session. But now I'm going to use a Word document on my computer because I need to use the uh, connection to explain the activities to you. So I need um, that energy, we can say like that, I need that energy to explain the activities and to uh, sound better. So in that case, we are going to use um, a Word document but you are going to find all the information on the on the Google document because I have the images there and all the things. The, um, I think that the only thing that I'm going to add at the end to the document is the last activity, that is the activity number four, because uh, that I'm going to write it in the moment. So in that case, you cannot find that information um, in the uh, Google Doc. So I was saying that we are going to have four activities today. We are going to use the previous topic that is adjectives to describe a house. So we are going to begin with that part because um, many of you are already in the in the meeting. So we are going to begin. And you know that I like to share some uh, phrases with you. And I know that this um, session is not at the beginning of the week. If we can say so, because this one is the ending of week number two. And it is supposed that tomorrow is the beginning of week number three. But in this case, I like it to do it in Monday. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we are going to begin with this one. So, we have here like the phrase that I like to share with you in this beginning of the week, not the week number three. In this case, we are in week number two and we are going to begin with week number three tomorrow. So, what is the phrase? Sometimes the things we can change end up changing us. So in some cases, we have a lot of uh, things that we need to, to change because we don't feel like good or we feel that that situation is taking the best thing of us because it is like hard. But in that case, we need to think that um, we can learn something from that situation. So in that case, the things that we can change because we have we don't have the power or maybe the situation is too hard for us, we need to learn something um, from that situation and we need to make something with that information that we are going to gain from that situation to make us better, just better, no worse, better, because we need to do a lot of things for us. So that is the phrase for this week. Sometimes the thing we can change end up changing us. Vamos a esperar unos, un minuto 
aproximadamente para que vayan eh, terminando de conectarse los demás a la reunión porque vamos a tener cuatro actividades en las que vamos a trabajar. Les explicaba desde el inicio. One of the activities that you can eh, see on the screen is read and find. Read and find is the first activity. I have a paragraph in which a girl is describing her house. And we are going to read the paragraph, we are going to understand the paragraph, and then we are going to find the adjectives that the girl is using. And that paragraph is going to give you some ideas and on how you can um, explain the things that you have in your house or to give an explanation about your house or to talk about your house in the second uh, activity that we are going to have. So let's see. This is the paragraph. And we have a girl called Jennifer. Also, you can find this information on the Google document, but I was telling you that I'm going to use this document because I need to focus my internet connection on the meeting. So we have like uh, someone that is asking her, um, could you please describe your, ha your home? That is the question. Could you please describe your home? That person is asking Jennifer to describe the uh, space in which she lives. So. In that case, we have the paragraph in which she is explaining that uh, the house related to the, the question. So it says, my family and I live on the 10th floor in an apartment building downtown. The building is next to a supermarket and across from a bank. There are two small bedrooms in our home and there is a large living room. I really like our living room because you can see all the city from our window. Also, there is a comfortable sofa and two chairs where we can watch TV together. There is a coffee table in front of the sofa and there are some flowers on it. There aren't any windows in our kitchen, but it is clean and modern. This is great because sometimes I like to cook dinner for my family. Our home is located downtown, so it is a little noisy, but I like it. That is a very specific description, but also it's like very simple. It is not really complicated to understand what is she saying. We are going to read again, and then we are going to explain, and then we are going to Uh, tell the adjectives that we can see in this paragraph. So I'm going to read it one more time and then we are going to like explain what is she saying. My family and I live on the 10th floor in an apartment building downtown. The building is next to a supermarket and across from a bank. There are two small bedrooms in our home And there is a large living room. I really like our living room because you can see all the city from our window. Also, there is a comfortable sofa and two chairs where we can watch TV together. There is a coffee table in front of the sofa and there are some flowers on it. There aren't any windows in our kitchen, but it is clean and modern. This is great because sometimes I like to cook dinner for my family. Our home is located downtown, so it is a little noisy, but I like it. So in that case, the first part of the paragraph, you can see, but let me show you. We are going to uh, divide this paragraph into different parts. We're going to use this color that is purple. And we have here, my family and I live on the 10th floor in an apartment building 
downtown. This is the place. An apartment. In this case, it is not like a, a small house. In this case, it's an apartment. Then they are, she is giving like directions of the, of the place. In this case, what it is located and something like that. The building is next to a supermarket and across from a bank. This one. Then she is telling us um, the things that she has in her house. In that case, she is explaining uh, the different parts of the house and also she is adding some adjectives. We are going to change the color and we are going to have green. And she says, there are two small bedrooms in our house. She is talking about bedrooms and there is a large living room. The living room, there is another part of the house. I really like our living room because you can see all the city from our window. She is giving more details about the living room. Then you can, uh, she is talking about the sofa and the chairs that uh, she can use to watch TV, but they are located in the living room. Then she talks about the kitchen. And then she says again that she lives in a place located downtown and that's it. In that case, she, uh, she used three different parts of the house that are the bedrooms, the living room and the kitchen. She is not talking about the, the bathrooms. She is not talking about the garage. She is not talking about the garden or something like that because she lives in, a, in an apartment and they are different from a common house, you know? So in that case, she is giving a specific details about the, the spaces that she has in her house. Así que en este párrafo nosotros tenemos eh, una explicación bastante detallada de los espacios en los que ella vive. Eh, habla de las habitaciones, no de una manera muy específica, porque solo da pequeños detalles sobre lo que son las habitaciones. Habla de la sala, que es así, da más detalles sobre la sala. Y sobre la cocina también da como algunos pequeños detalles sobre la cocina, pero no explica en realidad de qué color está, qué tiene, and all of the things. So, in that case, we have the description of the, the house of Jennifer. Now, I need you to read again the paragraph, and I will give you like two minutes. There are no, no need to have a lot of time for this activity. You are going to have like two minutes to read the paragraph and then you can give me the adjective that she is using to describe the house. Dos minutos para leer el párrafo. Vamos a identificar los adjetivos. Después de los dos minutos me van a ir diciendo cuáles son los adjetivos que ustedes encontraron en el párrafo y los vamos a ir marcando.
paragraph and to identify the adjectives because there are very simple adjectives that we use every day in our conversation and we can find um, in, all, uh, um, in many things. Uh, tell me, Victoria. Can I tell you adjectives that, that I um, find in the yes. paragraphs? Yes, I'm going to uh, mark the adjectives that, we're, that you are going to tell me. So give me a moment, okay. I need the color. Okay. Now, tell me. Okay, I can, I can, I could see that small and okay. large. Mm, small, large. large mm -hmm. Comfortable. Mm -hmm, good. Some. What? Some. Some. Yes. Some in that case is. Um, we are going not to use like adjectives in that case. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And and also a little, but I don't know. A little. A little. Yes. Mm -mm, no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Another adjective that we can see in the paragraph, someone else. Yes. Uh -huh. me. Tell me. Uh, I see clean, uh, clean, modern, clean and modern. Uh, uh, here, clean um, and modern. A little noisy too. Noisy, good. Okay, another one, thank you. Located. Um, in that case, it is like a verb. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see something. Um, in the in the case of little, when we are going to use little, separated from a little something. In that case, it's not an adjective because they are modifying the adjective. In this case, it's different. When you say she is little, in that case, it's an adjective, but in this case, it is not going to use it as an adjective. So in that case, we also have the number two, but you have another adjective there that is two small bedrooms. In that case, you can use also the number two as an adjective. Um, again, we have two shares, that is a number. Mm -hmm. And there is all the adjectives that we have here. In that case, there are very, very like, she is not using a lot of adjectives to describe the house. It is not necessary to add like 20 adjectives in the in the paragraph or in the conversation to explain something. In that case, you can um, add information talking about the space, but in that case, it is not just adding the adjective. So we have here this uh, paragraph. You can use this paragraph as an example. I am not saying that you are going to um, use all the information that you have here. No, in that case, you can like have an idea of the things that you want to say about your house. Why? Because the um, exercise number two here is a short conversation. In that case, we are going to make like a small groups in which you are going to tell your partners um, something about your house. In that case, you can uh, make your description as the example that we have here. In this case, you can like take the part of the house that you like the most. What is your favorite part of your house? You can describe in details that space. For example, if you like your bedroom, you can explain how it looks. Oh, in my bedroom, I have a big, um, 
a big mirror and I have a bed that is very comfortable. I have a, some decoration that is related to the nature or I like art and I have some paintings or I don't know, you can explain what do you have on your favorite space? You can begin telling, ah, my house is big, my house is small, my house is medium size, and my house has three rooms, two rooms, um, a small living room, they have like a backyard or something like that. You can uh, begin explaining something very specific about your house and then you can explain about the, um, the favorite a room in your house. If you like the kitchen, you can explain something about the kitchen, the color, uh, some things that you have there, um, decoration or something like that. So in that case, you are going to use the adjectives that you want. In that case, it is not like you are going to use two, three, four. There is no limit in that case. So we're going to divide and I need to stop sharing this. And also you can find that conversation on the group if you need to see the example. So I'm going to uh, divide the group into a small group. So in this case, don't feel nervous. Don't feel like, oh my God, I need to talk. Because in that case, you know, that is necessary to practice our English. And in that case is okay if we make some mistakes when we are talking or pronouncing or something like that. It is not um, something that we are going to like, oh, I'm going to die because I, I didn't pronounce that word. Tell me, tell me, Victoria. Uh, sorry, teacher, but what, what could I, what are I going to practice? You can um, create ah. like an explanation as the one that we have in the example. Okay. You are going to talk about your house and just um, your favorite place in your house. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Así que vamos a tener un par de minutos para dividirnos en los eh, small groups. Ustedes van a pensar en su descripción. Van a tomar unos minutos para pensar y decir, ah, yo voy a decir esto de mi casa y voy a explicar esto de la habitación que más me gusta y lo vamos a poner en práctica. I'm going to give you here as a whole group a couple of minutes. Vamos a tener un par de minutos en este momento para que ustedes piensen en la descripción que van a practicar. O sea, qué es lo que le van a decir a sus compañeros de grupo. Then, when you are ready in a couple of minutes, I'm going to divide the whole group in small groups. And then you are going to tell, ah, I have my description and I want to tell you that my house is this and this and this and this. Like two, three sentences are okay. Don't worry about that. So we are going to have a couple of minutes to create our description of our house. And then we are going to practice that description that we have.
enough time to think about your description. Now I'm going to divide this whole group into small groups and I'm going to see all the description, or in this case, I'm going to hear your descriptions in the small groups. So, so I'm going to divide it and you need to, let me see. You need to access. So we are going to have, yes, this one. So now you can access to your rooms. Okay, Oscar, Sonia, Elizabeth, and Emperatriz, can you please enter the rooms? Si tienen el mensaje de unirse a los small rooms, can you please go there? Okay, let me... Emperatriz, you have like three, three accounts or something like that because you appear three times. And I need you to enter the room that is as, uh, that you need to, to practice your description. Or I don't know. Or if you want, I can practice first. Hi. Uh, okay. Hi. Uh, my house is big. There are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. And in the living room, we have a big TV and two comfortable sofa. And uh, there are a um, small backyard, and it's all. Okay, thank you, Luis. And Oscar, are you there? And Claudia? Um, if you want, I can practice. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, I live in a very small neighborhood. It's very noisy because the children run and play all day. My bedroom is small and during the day it's very hot. It has only one window. My house is big. There are no trees or garden.
Okay, I think that Claudia are not here. I don't know, but I'm going to. I don't know um, if you have a read or tell your description already. I don't know if you have finished. No sé si ya terminaron con su práctica o no habían comenzado. I think there is not. Si no han hecho la práctica de la descripción de la casa, pueden hacerla y pueden ir compartiendo entre ustedes la descripción de su casa y de su lugar favorito, utilizando los adjetivos. Así que pueden tomarse su tiempo porque ya casi vamos a terminar con los eh, breakout rooms y vamos a volver a la main session. So you have like a couple of minutes to do your practice. Yes, the plaza. Yes, eh, bueno, a mí también en los ejercicios de video, todos los videos me, me daban error. Ah, uh. sí, yo tuve que mandé un mensaje al contacto que me envió el el enlace para entrar acá y ellos, este, bueno, prácticamente me dieron unas respuestas porque no, incluso el del, el del 5 no lo he podido hacer porque no me da el video. Uh, ok. Creo que la teacher se unió. ¿Será que tenemos que volverlo a hacer? Me, sorry, my vocabulary, bo, bo, <laughs> Mi vocabulario y es bien poco. Don't worry. It's like we are going to uh, expand that vocabulary. No se preocupen por eso. Vamos a ir poco a poco expandiendo el vocabulario. En el caso de que tengan todas que hacerlo de nuevo, no. Tal vez podemos hacer un ejemplo para escuchar la descripción. So, I don't know if want to give that explanation about the house. Or can I choose? <laughs> en mi caso, la descripción fue bien breve. No, don't worry. That's okay. Um, Tell me um, your description. My house is a small and um, my favorite place is my bedroom. In specific, my bed. Oh, that's good. Amazing. It's a short description, but it's okay. That's perfect. Thank you. I'm going to end all the breakout rooms and we are going to um, go to the main session. So it's going to end this uh, exercise. Vamos a terminar ya el ejercicio porque ya la mayoría dijeron sus descripciones y vamos a volver a la main session. So, Give me a moment to uh, return to the main session. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.
Hi. We are just waiting for uh, some participants that are in the breakout rooms, but we have like 20 seconds to end all the breakout rooms. So we are just going to wait like 15 seconds and we are going to continue with the activity number three. So 10 seconds more and we are going to explain something about the activity and then we are going to see the activity number three. I think they are here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, in this kind of activity, we can uh, see uh, the different vocabulary that we have about a specific topic in this case. Um, we were talking about the adjective, but also we were talking about uh, the um the parts of the house sometimes when we learn a different language we think that there are some topics that we are not going to to talk about in, in this kind of session but you can see that we can also talk about the parts of the house that is a very basic uh, topic in which we are going to talk about um, the bedroom, the living room, a TV, a refrigerator, um, or something like that. So in that case, we can also use that vocabulary and improve it. In that case, when we have this kind of vocabulary is because we are going to use it for a conversation. And it is necessary that we practice that kind of uh, vocabulary all the time. Siempre es necesario que vayamos practicando los vocabularios que nosotros en muchos de los casos creemos que ya no van a ser tan necesarios, pero pueden ver ustedes que siempre se van a utilizar porque vamos a hablar de, de cosas específicas. En este caso estamos hablando de la casa. También tenemos que ir practicando lo que son las partes de la casa. Eh, electrodomésticos o cosas así que nosotros podemos encontrar. Objetos y cosas así. Entonces siempre debemos de ir practicando, ¿verdad? Recordando cuáles son las palabras que ya aprendimos para que a la hora de hacer ese tipo de ejercicios no nos sintamos como I don't know what to say because I don't remember anything in that moment. And it is very, very normal. Don't worry about that. So, we are going to see the exercise number three. In this case, we have the first one and that is read and find. The second one, that is a short conversation. And the number three, that is, let me share the screen first, because I need you to see what is the exercise number three. And I'm moving the document in which we have the activity number three. So in this case, we have activity number three here, and it is, an activity about describe. We are going to describe something, but don't worry, we are not going to have a paragraph in which we are going to say, I live in a big house. It has mm, four rooms. Um, it has a kitchen and uh, we are not like using connectors or something like that. In this case, you are going to remember the adjectives or you can use the most used adjectives that you have in your list in your mind. Vamos a utilizar aquellos adjetivos que son los más fáciles para nosotros, que son con los que ya estamos más acostumbrados, que son los que más utilizamos o de los que más nos acordamos. No vamos a hacer frases largas. En este caso solo son adjetivos. And what is the thing that we are going to describe is the following thing. I have here these kind of images. I have uh, 10 images of these ones like this. We're going to see the images first and then we are going to explain what we are going to do with these images.
So we have different houses here. And this is the last one. So we are going to have 10 houses and I'm going to ask you on, or I'm going to tell your name and you are going to tell me at least six adjectives that you can use to describe that house. Seis adjetivos del, o los adjetivos que se le vienen a ustedes solamente cuando ven esa fotografía que yo les voy a estar poniendo. Son 10 fotografías, se van a repetir algunas. Yes, but you can use another adjective that maybe your uh, partner is not using. So in that case, we are going to describe the house through adjectives. Solo los adjetivos. Se me va a decir ugly, big, small, um, comfortable, um, beautiful, white, because you can use the colors. Um, gray, brown, yellow, whatever color it is, dirty, clean, modern, all, all that adjectives that you can use, you're going to tell me here. So we are going to begin. And I'm going to use this one. It's very, I'm not going to say because I'm going to give you some details. So I'm going to begin with, let me see. Luis, Luis Siguenza. What are the adjectives that you can use to describe this house? Um, beauty, ugly. <laughs> okay. Uh, old. Uh huh. Um, big. Mm -hmm. Or, um, I don't know. Only the that. color? What is the color? White. Uh huh. Good. And the... perfect. Okay, thank you, Luis. Give me another name, Luis. Rosemary. Rosemary. Big. This one, this one, the second one. Big, this one. Okay. Me dice la que se enfrenta o la anterior. This one, the blue one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, safe. Mm -hmm. Cozy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Posh. No sé si así se pronuncia elegante. Elegante. Mm -hmm. mm, you can say elegant too. Ah, okay. Um, pretty. Mm -hmm. Trendy. Mm -hmm. um, right. Okay, good. Thank you. Give me another name. Um, Nancy Maldonado. Nancy. Nancy, are you there? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Six adjectives to describe this house. Uh, big. Mm -hmm. uh, white. Good. Expensive. Mm -hmm. Clean. Good. Uh, beautiful. Good. Attractive. Ah, that's perfect. Thank you, Nancy. Give me another name. Maximo. Maximo. Maximo, hello. I think he's not ready. 
We are going to ask Nelly. Nelly, are you ready? I think she is not too. Victoria. Hello, teacher. Hello. Well, um, the house is very terrific. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I live in, in, in that house, I feel afraid. Oh, I will feel course. afraid. Yes. Um, the house is big because it's it's a big house. Mm -hmm. um, another that is the house is dirty, very dirty. Yes, of course. Um, but it's beautiful because it's big. Mm -hmm. um, and if I um, remodel, I don't know if I remodelation. I don't know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if I remodelation. I. Um, I can feel comfortable if I live in that house. Okay, good. Give me another name that is going to be the last one. Okay. Um, let me see. Elizabeth Hiron. Elizabeth. This one. Hi. Hello. Six adjectives that you can use to describe this house. Seis adjetivos que a usted se le vengan a la mente cuando ve esas casas. Este. Is green. Okay, green, good. Blue. Mm -hmm. And white. And white, three colors, good. Is um, spacious. Okay, spacious. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. One more. Um, attractive. Good. Very good. Thank you. Muy bien. Okay, we have different images of houses here, and we have like different ideas about them. Some of them are very uh, terrific, or we feel like we are going to be with a ghost in that place because they look old, they look dirty, and they look very dark. But we have another ones in which we say, oh, that's a beautiful house, it's big, it's clean, because they have like clear colors and they seem very attractive because of the construction. So in that case, it's it's okay, it's perfect, the, um, the things that we say about the houses, the adjectives that we use to describe it. So we are going to have the last thing. Uh, I'm going just to um, write the, the things that we can ask to people uh, when we want to know opinions. And that is the last thing that we are going to see in this session because I began the session earlier, so we are going to end in like three minutes this session. So I'm going to write the things that we can ask to other people because we need some ideas or something like that. So in that case, it is related to the activity number four that is answers. But in this case, we're not going to answer those um, we can say questions. So, in this case, it's like to talk about our, um, a different situation. And if you need to someone to say something that you need to uh, know or something like that, we can make like a game in this case. And in the activity four, it was related to that part. And it is to talk about something. Talk about something. And in this case is to give your um, opinion of that situation. 
So we are going to make it like this, like a list. And for example, uh, you can ask someone to talk about what you like about your house. You can also ask, talk about things in your house you can live without. Cosas con las que no podríamos vivir si no las tuviéramos en casa. Another thing is talk about your dream house, your dream house, the house that you want to have. Talk about the best country to live in and why. This is opinions, right? So this is like a list of 15, yes, 15 short topics that we can use to um, create conversation with people. But I'm going to add the list in the Google documents because um, this is the last part that I, I didn't add in the document already. So I'm going to do it and you are going to have that list on your document because we are going to end the session right here right now so we are going to see each other tomorrow in the beginning of the week number three así que nos vemos el día de mañana see you tomorrow see you tomorrow see you, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow. Bye. have a really good, good night. night thank you teacher see you welcome. see you, thank you teacher. goodbye